to make this very special presentation of the 2014 inductee. I'd like to invite to the stage ANZ CEO of Global Wealth and Private Banking, Joyce Phillips. Thank you, and I guess your jo opening joke is super happy Ichiban, or number one, but uh, anyway, as you can tell from my accent, I'm not Japanese. I'm speaking from a New York accent, but I actually live here in Sydney, and I'm delighted to be here to introduce tonight's Hall of Fame. And this is really important. This is a fantastic room full of talent here, and I think you should show some respect. So please, I urge you to pay attention here. This is um, a really important award, and I'm just blown away with the talent in this room, and, and I think this, uh, this is really important. Um, in his distinguished career that has spanned more than 30 years, he's won countless local and global awards. In fact, in 2001, when the industry voted the top 10 ads in the previous 25 years, five of the 10 ads had his name on them including being creative director of Australia's number one commercial in the last 50 years, judged by all of you, the industry, Ants Pants. He's well known for his creativity and pushing the envelope with his campaigns. I've worked with this individual for four years and thoroughly enjoyed pushing the boundaries with him and bringing a little Hollywood to banking with Patrick Jane. He's crazy, he's really a crazy guy, but the best kind of crazy, the kind of crazy that this industry needs more of, and the world as well. Let's welcome Scott Wybe into the stage. This is bloody bizarre, I promise you that right now. I was watching those old men's heads as they went up. And I turned 55 next Friday, and I thought, shit, I'm, I'm freaking 80. You know, that, it, seriously, this is bizarre. I don't mind pitching for business, but when you're actually talking about yourself, it's bordering on narcissistic, so I'm trying to be quick. Thank you, Joyce, thank you so much. Um, do you know something, I, I, when I walked into this room tonight, I was in the shower before I think, I know what to say. I walked in and said, just scrub it, you know. I saw everybody yakking and yelling, I'm going, oh, forget that's all out the window, so forget about it. But what I want to say to you guys is very critical. Quickly, if you just indulge for one minute. If you, if you yell or talk over me, I'm going to find you and punch you, by the way. <laughs> I don't mean that. I'm from Newcastle, okay? <laughs> I am the luckiest man in this room right now because I was lucky as a kid. I live next to the gas works, and I mean that, it sounds like a Monty Python sketch, but I actually did. And then suddenly, we all got gassed, you know. I was 16 years old, and I didn't know what to do. And within five years, I'd met Derek Hansen, and by the way, a lot of you in this room might know these names. Hopefully you do know some of them. Derek Hansen taught me to write print, or attempted to, and taught me a craft that got me through a lot of years. Then I met David Abbott in London, and God bless him, he passed away last year, but just his presence alone was enormous for me. And then I met Lionel Hunt for 10 years at the Cabo Palace, and Lionel was stupid enough to give me the credit record job at 26 years old. And I had all these legends I looked up to that were suddenly working for me. It was an amazing experience for me for 10 years. And then, like a freaking idiot, I started my own business. And, you know, typical arrogant creative person I was, I went, they're all gonna come. Well, let me tell you something, guys, we're gonna start a new business out there, particularly now. Come and talk to me about this situation. Because nobody came for the first six months, and I was going, shit, my ego was completely nutty, unadulterated, killed, you know what I mean? I got five commercial years in a row, jeez, where are they? They weren't there, right? That's why I love this industry. I love it because 
As a kid from Newcastle, I could never have expected what happened to me for the next 37 years. And, and, and I, I'm going to say something very important to you. I'm, I'm glad you're all shutting up, by the way. The punch is still available. A kid from Newcastle would never expect to, to experience what I did. I met the most amazing people. I've, I've, I've travelled countries. I've had the best life. And I love this business so much. I'm so passionate about it. And today, one thing I want to say. That kid at 20 years old walked into a great industry. That kid at 55 right now sees procurement, sees marginalising of values of ideas in this business. And everybody out there thinks they believe in this business. Shh, tell me one thing. Remuneration is positioning. If you think you're great, make sure you charge appropriately for it. Because I want those 20 year old kids from, from digital, from social, that are coming with all that passion to come in, into the business that I came into. Optimistic, understanding we build brands, we sustain them. We, we've got trouble water head kids. We're an important industry. Don't underestimate ourselves and don't marginalise ourselves because this is a great industry and I love it. And thank you so much. Cheers. One of the great joys about starting a company like Abbott Mead Pickett is to watch the progress of people who joined you in the early years in their subsequent careers. Many of them have gone on to great things, none more so than Scott. That's why he fully deserves the honour that's being bestowed on him. Everybody here is really proud of you, Scott. And the sadness is that David isn't here to join me on this tape to congratulate you as well. He would have been really, really proud of you. Sick of Rex. He knows how to spot talent and he knows how to nurture that. And beyond it, he has the most amazing ability to spot a big idea, a really big communications idea that can work everywhere. Congratulations from California, the Hall of Fame. Yeah. The rural managers that work for the bank who are farmers. three greatest creative people that I've ever run into and I'm not even sure who the other two are. Scott, like all incredible creative people, is sensitive, intelligent and unbelievably crazy. Who else would tell a Prime Minister what to do, as Scott did as we introduced a campaign for the GST? I don't like talking about the war. And I wouldn't send the mangy dog to the war. That's my honest opinion. Because you can't win. Scotty, you're a legend. Your talent, sincerity and loyalty are a rare thing in this business. I'd like to thank you as part of the Australian advertising community for elevating us all. It's been an honour and a privilege knowing you and calling you my friend. But it's your money, Ralph. Well. But then the interest yeah, rate. But it's still your money. I 
I think it's about time they awarded a quiet, demure teetotaler into the Australian Hall of Fame. But until they can find one, congratulations Scotty, richly deserved, bottle of the best, on its way to you from South Africa. Cheers mate. Seven billion people in the world. And no two fingerprints the same. Nope. Everybody's different. For people to see that message from a bank like ANZ, it matters. It works.